Hi, I'm Karan Shade from Cisco Systems and in this video we will test Aruba's client match feature that claims to improve wireless performance by intelligently moving mobile devices to the best access point. While testing client match, we will focus on two primary objectives. First, will the presence of client match improve end user experience than what is available today? In other words, is there a need for client match? And second, can it consistently move clients to the best access points irrespective of their mobile device type? Or in other words, can client match operate independently of device type? Before we start the test, let's take a quick look at the setup. In our setup, we have two Aruba AP135 located in conference room A and conference room B at a distance of 30 feet from each other. These access points are managed by Aruba 6000 controller, which is configured with client match and 802.11k based on the recommended settings described in best practices guide. In addition to all of this, we have a wired client that will generate ping traffic to our wireless clients and it will also provide access to the console port of the controller. Since we are focusing on two separate test objectives, we will use Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 for the first test and iPad for the second test. Now let's start with our first end user experience test by capturing the impact on the Samsung client when client match is off. Our Samsung client is currently associated to the access point located in room A. So let's take a closer look at the console for verification. First, we can verify that the client is not part of client match database. Second, the roaming history of this client clearly tells us that the client is currently associated to the access point in room A. So now let's initiate ping traffic to our wireless client, which will help us capture any disruption when the client starts to walk from room A to room B. So now let's walk with a Samsung client from room A to room B. Observe the drop in ping traffic because the client is still trying to stick with access point in room A instead of moving to a closer access point that is inside room B. Ping traffic now resumes. So let's verify the current association state of the client from our console. From the roaming history of this client, we can clearly see that the client has moved from room A to room B and the reason for this move was triggered based on deauthentication because client match has been switched off. Let's repeat the same test scenario, but this time we will switch on client match. Just like in a previous test run, our Samsung client is associated to access point in room A. So let's look at the console for more clarity. In this case, we can clearly see that the client is part of the client match database and has picked up the best access point based on the signal strength. Roaming history confirms the current association and gives no roaming reason yet because client has never moved from room A to room B. With that said, let's initiate ping traffic to our client to observe any disruption like we saw in our previous test when client match was switched off. So now let's walk with our Samsung client from room A to room B. Observe the drop in ping traffic. We have already seen a similar disruption when client match was switched off. Ping traffic now resumes. So let's verify the current association state of the client from our console. From the client roaming history, we can confirm that the client match triggered the move from room A to room B for our Samsung client. The client match database also reveals that the client picked up access point in room B for the fact it has a better signal strength compared to access point in room A. Ping drops were observed even in the presence of client match and hence we can conclude that Aruba's client match feature fails to differentiate and offer any improvement over the current end user experience. So my question for you, is there a need for client match? Now for the second test, we will use iPad to verify whether client match offers any help in triggering the move when client is roaming between conference rooms. Similar to a previous test case, iPad is associated to access point in room A. So let's verify this from the controller console. We can clearly see that iPad is part of the client match database and has picked up the best access point based on the signal strength. The roaming history for the iPad confirms the current AP association and it produces no roaming reason yet because iPad has never roamed between room A and room B. With that said, let's start sending ping traffic to our iPad to capture any disruptions. While the pings are working fine, let's walk with our iPad from room A to room B. As expected, 
we are observing the drop in ping traffic during the room. So let's wait for the pings to return. Well, the ping traffic has now resumed. So let's verify the current association of the iPad from controller console. From the client match database, we can see that iPad has moved to access point in room B. But from the client roaming history, we can see that the reason for this move was triggered by iPad itself by deauthenticating it from room A and then associating to room B. Client match did not play any role in helping iPad during this move like it did for Samsung Galaxy Tab. Based on our test results, we can conclude that client match is not agnostic of mobile device type. Thank you for watching.